holiday because it's the one time of year where I can dress how I'd normally dress but I don't have to worry about being arrested. I wish Halloween was all year round. And that got me thinking. Since I have this Arthurian themed YouTube channel and all, I should probably do something festive for the season. From this point on, I'm going to highlight spooky Arthurian critters and stories every Halloween. This year I'm going to be focusing on the creepy and iconic Questing Beast! Dun, dun, dun. You done? <laughs> Holy shit! Yeah. What exactly is the Questing Beast? Well, it's kind of hard to peg down, but it has its origins in the French texts The Prose Tristan, Perlevas, and stories from the post-Vulgate cycle, all originating from the 13th century. The beast appears again in Le Morte de Arthur, and from that point on makes its presence known in varying modern renditions. Originating simply as a beast that is encountered by various different knights while questing for the Holy Grail, and sometimes hunted by said knights, it eventually evolves into a full-on allegorical nightmare. Hmm, speaking of which, I don't feel like this is sufficiently Halloween-y enough. Maybe I should do, like, a spooky voice. <clears throat> In the post-Vulgate, the questing beast is conceived when a possessed young noblewoman, impregnated by a demon, begins to long for her brother in the West Virginian way. Her advance is rebuked. She cries to her father, accusing the brother of rape. The father responds the way any father would when confronted with a dubious situation involving his children. He feeds his son to a pack of ravenous dogs. As the brother dies, he curses his sister and prophesizes that she will give birth to a monster! Which she probably was gonna do anyway, on account of that demon knocking her up, but, you know. And so, the beast is born! In Pereva, before the kinky conception origin. The beast is small and white, but is able to birth a litter of 12 dogs. Dogs which torture the beast from within and eat and rip their way out at conception. Hey, is this an allegory for pregnancy? I can kind of relate to this. Oh no, not again. In future variations, the beast's form is far more gruesome. According to the prose Tristan, it has a stag's feet, a serpent's head, a leopard's body, and a lion's thighs and tail. In Mallory's La Morte de Arthur, the beast appears to Arthur after Mordred's conception, perhaps foreshadowing the conflict between him and his nephew's son. Common themes in relation to the questing beast caused Alexander M. Bruce to theorize that it symbolizes that a relationship between people is not right, that two elements which should have remained separate have been mixed, and that chaos will result from the unnatural situation at hand. Palamedes, a Saracen knight, becomes the main protagonist in the hunt for this abomination. So much so that Alexander Bruce again comments that the knight is himself a hybrid creature, a mixture of Saracen and virtuous knight, just as the beast is a physical crossbreed. Oh. Hmm. Wait. What was his first quote? Hold on. Symbolizes that a relationship between people is not right, that two elements which should have remained separate have been mixed. Hmm. I'll go for you. How's that? Other interpretations exist. Sometimes the beast represents a warning against incest or its hybridity merely reflects dissonance and tension. It is sometimes viewed as being a symbol of the Christ, the barking noise representing his power over the old religions, or the 12 dogs within its belly represent the 12 tribes of Israel. And other times it represents the act of questing itself. Whatever your interpretation, beware. Should you sight this beast while waking up by a stream after fornicating your sister, 
stop taking acid. Also, maybe don't do that other thing. And on that fun note, I have an announcement to make. I have a secret. A spooky secret. And I want you all to try and guess what it is by leaving a comment below on this video. At the end of December, I will announce my spooky secret in a video. And the first person who is able to guess what it is will win a prize. Prizes, prizes, prizes. Here is a hint. <clears throat> I am a myth, but also real. Implausible to catch or steal. I can talk. I can sing. Hard liquor is my king. Milk me only if you seek death's deal. Thanks for watching, everybody. Please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Good luck on your guesses. Ooh.